Let's dive into the Super Contest picks. Chris, I had a big week last week, uh, four and one against the number. That puts me at nine and one over the last two weeks. I am 31 and 19 thus far this year. You had a winning week last week, three and two. Overall, you were sitting at 24, 24 and two. Do you have the first game up on your Super Contest picks? Yeah, I'm going to start with the 49ers going to the Jags. I I just think they're a much better football team at every point in the game. This Jacksonville team, they can fight hard sometimes, but uh, but they just don't scare me at all. I'll lay the touchdown. I know I'm taking a team coming from Sunday night, short little short week. I know they're going all the way East Coast to West Coast, West Coast, East Coast. It doesn't matter anymore. These guys know how to get rest. They know how to prepare. And the Jacksonville team is not good. They're about to play a team I think is on the rise. I could get down with that. I do like that pick. Uh, I'm going to start off with the Cowboys. Cowboys plus two and a half at the Chiefs. Uh, I think they are the better team overall. I think they're going to win this football game, and and I don't think it'll be close. Like, I feel really good about the Cowboys here. So, uh, so give me them boys. Yep, I'm the same way. We'll, we'll take that. It's my second game. So Okay. Cowboys plus two and a half for Chris. Uh, game number two for me, Patriots minus seven at the Falcons on Thursday night. Uh, again, this team should be favored by double digits here. The Falcons, as good as their record indicates, they are not that. This is the worst efficiency team in the NFL. I think the Patriots are rolling right now, and they are going to smoke the Falcons in Atlanta. So give me uh, give me the pads here. I'm going to take the uh, New York football Jets plus three against the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins team is really bad. And I know that they got a win on Thursday night against the Ravens. That's one of those situations where weird things kind of happen in the NFL, and the NFL is kind of a little drunk right now. And why not get more drunk and uh, let the Jets get a W? I, I could get down with that. So that uh, that's a home game for the Jets, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, I can uh, I can see that. Uh, I'm going to take the Colts plus seven at the Bills. I know that we have talked all kinds of mad crap about Carson Wentz and whatnot. Uh, but this team looks to be gelling at the right time. Uh, I know it was a close game against the Jags last week. I understand that, blah, 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 blah. But I think they are geared up for this game against the Bills. Bills are are the best overall team in the NFL as far as efficiency numbers are concerned. But I have seen them kind of throw up all over themselves too many times this year. This seems like one of those spots where a good team shows up and is able to at least give them a fight. I could totally see like a 21-17 kind of game here. So I will take the Colts to cover the seven against the Bills. All right. Problem is, is you think the Colts are a good team. I'm going to take the Vikings plus two and a half against the Packers. I think the Packers, uh, Aaron Rodgers finally loses the game. That's it. He lost week one. He's pretty much undefeated since then. I, I think the wheels come a little bit off this weekend. I could see it. I could see it. Game number five for me. Uh, I'm going to take the Texans plus ten and a half at the Tennessee Titans. This Titans team is just basically winning by uh, the skin of their teeth right now. The numbers would not tell you that this will be a close game, but I I tend to believe that Houston can keep this you know within the ten and a half. I uh, I will roll with uh, with the Texans here. I, the roster doesn't say it should anything like that, but a divisional matchup. These are two teams that know each other relatively well. I'll uh, I'll roll Texans even on the road. So I'm going to go with my last game. Cincinnati Bengals coming off a of bye minus one at the Las Vegas Raiders. Now this Bengals team looked a little beat up, got a little beat up. Unbelievable. We lost Chris. Chris, can you hear us? <laughs> what a what a proper way. For the show to end. His pick there was the Bengals minus one. Um, and we lost him. I don't know what the hell. What a day. What a show. Good gracious. All right, so the Bengals minus one at the Raiders is Chris's last pick. Let me recap for you. Cowboys plus two and a half. Patriots minus seven. Cardinals, sorry, Seahawks plus two and a half. Colts plus seven. And Texans plus ten and a half for me. Chris's picks are the 49ers minus seven. Cowboys plus two and a half. Jets plus three. Vikings plus two and a half, and Bengals minus one. So that is going to round up our super contest picks. With all that said, give you the rundown one more time. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and subscribe uh, to the podcast if you've not already. Leave a nice five-star review on Apple Podcasts. And 
Of course, I do a BetUS college football show. The link is in the description. Chris does the SBR college football show. The links are in the description. And on top of that, the show is brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. It's America's top sports book. Go and check it out at BetUS.com. Use the promo code NCAAF2021, and you will get a 125% deposit bonus up to $2,500, and it is sportsbook exclusive. So with that said, we are going to get out of here. We hope that you all have a wonderful uh, wonderful rest of your week. Make sure and join us on Friday, Friday morning for the podcast and the live show. Of course, it uh, goes out at 9 a.m. every Friday, uh, but that will be our college football picks and other news, etc. And, of course, Sundays, 9.30 a.m. Central Time, we will have our college football reaction show. So we'll go ahead and dive out of here. Again, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday or whenever it is that you listen to this. Share the show out. Tell your friends. Make sure you are subscribed. We are getting closer to that 5,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. Tell your friends, etc. All right. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.